everyone. Um, my name is Rebecca Bradshaw. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the new producing artistic director at the Kitchen Theater Company. Welcome back. Here we are. Before we jump into the new titles, I want to talk about A Boy and His Soul by Coleman Domingo. You have one weekend left to see it. It is such a good production. Jaquay Lamar Thomas is a star. It's a beautiful show about what your heart means, um, how soul music lifted a family up through many different facets of their lives and how it catalogs their journey. And this play really allows you to sit in this music that might resonate with you too. The second show in our season is The Thanksgiving Play by Larissa Fasthorse. I think it's a play that Kitchen Theater Company audiences will really love. Um, it's, it's so funny, it's charming, it's earnest, it's ridiculous in like all the right ways. <laughs> it's three teachers who, um, three school teachers who are trying to put on a Thanksgiving play. And in doing so, they're trying to be PC and they might stumble a little bit along the way and say, oh, we're, we're going to represent diversity by having this one person, but we want them to still give the stereotypical responses and answers and things. I wish you can come enjoy the play so we can at least take a laugh at ourselves, laugh at, laugh at each other, um, and see the world through a different perspective. The third show of our season is Fade by Tanya Siracho. This play follows two characters, Abel and Lucia. Lucia is a um, new, young, up-and-coming screenwriter. She just moved to Hollywood, she just got into her first writer's room, and she's figuring out the system. And in doing so, she's staying late nights. And the only people who are at the office late nights are the janitor staff, the janitorial staff. So she meets Abel. It has all the hallmarks of a kitchen show, right? It's intimate, it has the conversations around it that we're all talking about in our daily lives anyway. There's a really interesting conversation about power and who holds power and what happens when you get more and more power. Um, do you forget those who helped you along the way? I think it's really great that we're going to be seeing a complicated um, story between two Latinx individuals play out on stage that doesn't exclusively revolve around their culture, their race, um, but does let us into their worlds. The Chinese Lady by Lloyd Su is a play that follows this young woman named Afang Moi, who was actually a real story about a young woman um, who came here from China in 1834 and was the first immigrant from China. I think it makes us think and like ask the questions to ourselves like are we putting ourselves in other people's shoes often enough are we thinking about the experiences of other people why are we so fascinated with the other when our culture is full of people who might identify as the other you don't want to miss it it's going to be a really good one the last show of our season is hurricane diane by madeline george um, just get ready, buckle up. Like, we're gonna end with on a high note. <laughs> it feels like Real Housewives of New Jersey meets uh, Greek gods and like, I, or Hercules, you know, like something really that shouldn't go together but works very well. So, this godlike being walks in in the form of a landscaper or a gardener and talks to these women about permaculture, about about um, taking over the land and making it more uh, sustainable for our future. There's a lot of um, existential dread about climate change and uh, I feel that. We humans are the cause of it and so we humans need to be the solution to it. And art is always a way of confronting the things that scare us um, in a way that is so spectacular in the play and, and hilarious at times and otherworldly. It's hilarious. The play is really, really funny. And um, when I read it, I just cackle the entire time.